you know, I want everyone to make money, okay? Primarily with AMC and GameStop, but if, let's say, you had side money, this is the key. Here's the key word, side money. Like, you know how everyone broke my balls with uh, Progenity, with Prog? Okay, let me tell you the difference between me and Teddy Zayn or me and Lou. I told everyone, if you have side money, pennies, that's what I said, I used that term, pennies, to not sell your AMC, to not sell your GameStop, but if you had a couple of pennies to throw it into Prague. And I was right. You know how everyone, like, this is what everyone says to Teddy's defense. Oh, these are not long-term plays, you know, Ape Father. You get in and get out. Well, that's what I did with Progenity. I don't know if you know that. I bought it at like three seventeen dollars and sold it over $6 a share. Now, that's it. After that, I told everyone I sold. So, like... <laughs> like what? Isn't that like what you're that you're all the Teddy Zayn lovers? Isn't that what Teddy does? Then he forgets about the play, right? Okay. People then asked me my opinion of progenity. I said, look, it's a very good potential long-term play if their patents come to fruition. Meaning if there turns out to be a buyout with Pfizer or if their patents, you know, hit the market and they start bringing in big revenues, I said it's a potential good long-term play. But again, I always say I have a disclaimer. I have a disclaimer. I say I'm not a financial advisor. I don't give financial advice. I'm an entertainer. And also, I said to use pennies. I get people say, oh, I, I sold my AMC and I lost all my money in progenity. Well, that's not my fault, mother effer. That's on you because I would never tell you to sell your AMC. How can you blame me for something I'm not saying? If anything, you should have lost $50 in progenity because I said to use pennies. Use pennies. That's what I told you, okay? But that's not what Teddy Zayn is doing. And that's the difference between me and Teddy, okay? Teddy is encouraging, in my opinion, allegedly, occurring. He's 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 telling apes to sell, okay? I have to say, I have to say allegedly, encouraging. Excuse me. Sometimes I can't speak English because I'm from Brooklyn, right? <laughs> he's encouraging apes to sell AMC to get into these garbage plays. And a lot of times... They're losing their ass. They're losing tens and tens and tens of thousands of dollars. Now, the thing you have to understand, all of you, is that one of these mother effers might get pissed off enough to sue his ass because he's charging people $5 a month. So they might say, not for nothing. I paid you $5 a month. You are now legally responsible. Again, I'm not a lawyer, so this has to be alleged, alleged too. I'd say allegedly. They, they could say this to him. They could say, you, you are responsible because you're the one who said, pay me $5 a month and I'm going to give you the next winner. I'm going to give you the next gigantic IPO. Well, I just lost $40,000, Teddy. Pay the F up. I'm taking your ass to court. Okay, so there's the difference between me and Teddy. I'm not asking anybody for money. When I make a video, I have a disclaimer. I, I am very specific. I am not a financial planner. I don't give financial advice. I'm an entertainer. And I would never tell anyone to sell AMC or GameStop. Never. I said, if you have pennies, and even if these, these plays that like Teddy's recommending, if you have pennies or want to go into them and you're not selling your AMC, I got no beef with that. I got no problem with that. But I do have a problem with this Mama Luke Stunat tiny razor balls mother refer is getting people out of AMC to go into these garbage piece of shit freaking plays. I do have a problem with that. 